LTA. What's up with it? How y'all feeling today? Uh, we're going to talk about female inmates getting pregnant by inmates. Now, we all heard about females getting pregnant by the officers, you know what I mean? Stuff like that, the, even the warden probably, you know, some official in there, some male official in there. We, we done heard, we done heard that story a bunch of times. And it got tricky now where inmates is impregnating the female inmates. How is that happening? Well, they're housing males in the female jails. They're housing men that was born men that identify as women in the female jail. Now this is crazy for a bunch of different reasons. This is the same thing as going to the bathroom because you identify as this or that. I believe it should be made easy. If you still have your male parts, you should go use the bathroom in the male's bathroom. If you still got your male parts, you should go to the males, the, men, the men jails. Why make it, this, this is crazy. So you identify as a woman, you go to the women's jail, but now all of a sudden you're impregnate. Now you're, but now you're fucking the women in there, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> when it's convenient, you a man again. Huh? You dig, you a man again, it's convenient. It's, 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 it's women around, now you, you back male now. Like, come on, what are we talking about? That's the, that's the reason why it should just be, just make it simple, man. You still got your male parts, go to the male bathroom, go to the men's jails. Do what the men do while you're still, you know, what you do on your free time or who you decide to have sex with and all that, that's, that's you can do what the hell you want to do. Why, why, why bring us in, boy? Why involve us, though? Now you, now you get put us at the women's jail and you're impregnating women. But you're going to get out and say, you identify as a woman. So when this baby comes into the world, what are you going to tell the baby? No, I'm not your dad. But you identify as a woman. So you ain't like you're going to say, it ain't like you're going to say I'm bisexual, I go both ways. No, you identify as a woman, but just happen to be in the convenience of being around women so you have sex with women. That's just like the studs. The ones that's really studs, the ones that swear up and down, they hate men or dislike men, whatever word you want to use. They, they can't stand men, right? But they end up going behind their partner back, cheating with men. Some do it for money, so prostitution. And some just still like dick, but don't 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 don't, don't know how to say it or you know I ever want to pull the you know how you know how the, you know how it goes. You know? You know how the shit goes. So it's crazy. If you the, you know what? The gay community should be the ones outraged about stuff like this. About the the, the, the studs that cheat on a partner and go behind their partner back to still get sex from a male. Um, do people like this that identify as a woman but you're going into women's jails having sex with women. The, the gay community should be outraged about that. The mes uh, misrep misrepresentation, right? You know what I'm saying, the world wrong, like I always do. Um, but you know what I mean, like, y'all false flagging. You know what I'm saying? It's like a person that screamed raped and didn't get raped. Now you're not, you make it, the, the, now the credibility for the ones that actually do be victims is getting looked at, you know what I'm saying, is getting put down. Getting looked at funny, looked at wrong, now they getting, now they getting doubted and shit because they like, oh man, we hear people scream wolf all the time. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is, that's, this is foul. It's foul. It's, it's like I said, the gay community should be outraged. Us straight people should be outraged because we get this stuff pushed on us so much. Like, I have nothing against gays. But the agenda get pushed on us so much on our kids and all that. And it be stuff like this to make you say, see? Like, come on, man. What are we talking about? I don't know why my phone is acting up like this. is crazy. <laughs> bear, bear with me, man. My phone is... It's messing up for some reason. I don't know why it's doing this. It's been doing this all morning. Pausing on me and, and, and it's time to get rid of this month. Huh? Is it is it old and raggedy? But yeah, so let's check it out.
Two female inmates are pregnant after they had sex with another inmate at the Edna Mahan Correctional Facility for Women in Clinton. That's the Department of Corrections. Last year, Edna Mahan began housing transgender inmates who identify as female. That's after a lawsuit filed by a trans woman who was forced to live in men's prisons. The DOC would not provide details on what actions they took in response to the pregnancies, but says they're taking measures to ensure the health and the safety of all inmates there. Yeah, that's another thing too, the safety. What if they go in there and they want to, and they're, and, they, and they're forcing they weigh on people. What if they're taking some shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, this, this, this world is crazy, man. I don't even know. This, don't, don't nothing. You can't be surprised by nothing no more. It's all, it's all, it's all some bullshit. It's all a shit show. And you know what I'm talking about? But we gotta do better, man. I don't know. I think it's too far gone. The world is too far gone. Ain't no, ain't no recovery. What else we gonna do? We are, we're, we're all using the bathroom together. A 38 year old male could walk up, could walk inside a bathroom, and 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 be in there with a seven year old girl. You know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. And then now the man is in female jails, getting people pregnant. It's over with, man. LTA, we out of here.